indeterminate forms. When we have a limit in the form of p by q, something like f of x by g of x, if the value is becoming 0 by 0 or infinite by infinite, then we say that this particular function is in indeterminate form. Under such cases, we will be using the L hospitals rule, which says that when we have a limit in the form of p by q, that is f of x by g of x, if this becomes indeterminate, then go for the first derivative of the numerator as well as the denominator. Again, if this also becomes indeterminate, then go for the second derivative and proceed further as long as you get a finite value. That is the rule of L Hospital. Now let us understand what are the different indeterminate forms. In this we have 0 by 0, then infinite by infinite, then 0 into infinite, then infinite minus infinite, then 1 power infinity, 0 power 0, and infinity power 0. So total there are 7 indeterminate forms. Now we will discuss them in 3 categories. The first 2 I will take it as case 1, the next 2 as case 2, and the last 3 as case 3. Let us start with the first one. Let us get into the case 1 category. That is 0 by 0 and infinite by infinite. In this the procedure is same as what we have discussed just now is limit extends to a when we have f of x by g of x. If at all if this becomes indeterminate, just go for the first derivative. That is limit extends to a f dash of x by g dash of x. Again if it is indeterminate, then go for second derivative f double dash of x by g double dash of x and so on. Let us take an example to understand this. Here we have the first question. Find limit extends to 0 sin x by x. This has been asked in gate 2011 mechanical engineering. Mark this. This is a very very important concept as well as the formula. Okay, to solve this, we have limit x tends to 0 sin x by x. When we substitute the value x equals 0, it is clearly 0 by 0, so indeterminate form. So, what we are going to do is, we will just take the derivative. Limit x tends to 0, sin x take the first derivative, x also take the first derivative. So, this is limit x tends to 0 sin x derivative is cos x and the denominator we have x derivative of x is 1. Now let us substitute the 0, cos 0 is 1, therefore this value is 1. Make a note of this in your uh, notebook, it is a very very important observation. Limit x tends to 0, sin x by x is 1. Okay, Let us do one more. Here we have a question asked in gate 2016 computer science. Limit x tends to 4 sin x minus 4 by x minus 4. So here we have limit x tends to 4 sin x minus 4 by x minus 4. Now here you can see the function is not x rather it, they have given it as x minus 4. So let us change this. So I will assume x minus 4 as and here they mentioned that x is 4. So when x is 4, what will be the value of t? If x is 4, when you substitute the 4 on, in this equation, you will get it as 4 minus 4, 0. So t is 0. So I can rewrite this equation as limit t tends to 0 sin t by t. Just now we have learned limit x tends to 0 sin x by x is 1. Therefore, this value is 1. The answer is 1. Okay, let us do one more. Here is the question in gate 2003 mechanical engineering. Limit x tends to 0 sin square x by x. Looks similar to the standard form. So, you might guess the answer to be 1, but 
let us solve and see whether it is one or not okay let me write this as limit x tends to 0 sin square x by x for convenience let me multiply x in the numerator and denominator so this becomes limit x tends to 0 sin square x by x square into x this is limit x tends to 0 sin x by x whole square into limit x tends to 0 x in this this value is 1 so I can write as 1 square into limit x tends to 0 x is actually 0 because x is a linear function when you substitute the value 0 this whole thing will become 0 so anything multiplied by 0 is 0 therefore it's actually not 1 so please be careful while solving these type of questions okay here we have the last question gate 2014 chemical engineering uh, limit x tends to infinity x plus sin x by x okay this i can write as limit x tends to infinity 1 plus sin x by x this is one can be taken outside because it's a constant and i can write it as limit x tends to infinity sin x by x now again you may feel this is in standard form and you might write it one but it's actually not one this is limit x tends to infinity what we have learned is limit x tends to zero therefore it is not one we need to solve this so for this let me draw the graph for uh, sin x the sin x graph looks something like this where the values always lie between plus 1 to minus 1 therefore in this the numerator can go from uh, minus 1 to plus 1 isn't it therefore we can add this as 1 plus here we are not sure about the value so I can add as some finite value in the denominator we have x and x is tending to infinity therefore I can add as infinite so any finite value divided by infinity is 0 therefore the answer is 1